I was thinking of all the trees we lost, Josh, oh, in this yeah. Arctic storm, and those were shade for the summer. I know I lost a tree on my southern-facing mm -hmm. house, and now I'm worried about what kind of tree can I get in there that can grow fast to really protect it from the heat in the summer? Uh, yeah, because uh, summer is quickly knocking at our doorstep. Well, summer was like here yesterday <laughs> with that temperature we had it, yesterday. It was. Yesterday was the hottest day that we've experienced so far this year, and we were just one degree shy of tying the record of 79 degrees Last set back in 1992, so 78 degrees. That so far is the warmest temperature we have experienced. Of course, a much different picture after late last night. A cold front swung through the area, increasing our rain potential, but also cooling us back here across much of the Pacific Northwest. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. 45 degrees out at PDX, seeing those on again, off again rain showers take us through the rest of the evening into the early morning hours as those temperatures start to slide back into the low 40s. After our daytime highs today, only managed to get up to about 54 here in the city. Again, one of the hot pockets, the further south you go, Salem, only a high of 52, when our average should be 59 for this time of year. So the pendulum, it just keeps swinging back and forth as the month of April progresses. As wet weather does just the same, tracking its way from the south to the north as the cloud coverage still remains widespread. After a lot of activity out along the Oregon and Idaho border, the Boise area picking up on some severe thunderstorms with large hail damaging winds earlier today and also a few snow flurries out towards I-84. All of this active weather and the big cool down thanks to the latest cold front that continues to slide its way further to the south. The shower potential does remain as this cool pocket of air still wraps around the center of the low and that will eventually start to fizzle out over the high terrain of the Rocky Mountains and then we slowly dry things out briefly for Friday afternoon. So here it is all timed out. There's that snow falling over the high terrain of the Cascades. Mountain pass travel likely going to be on the trickier side here over the next 24 to 48 hours as much of the Portland metro area holds on to that rain potential into the afternoon hours. Daytime highs are going to be struggling to get any higher than the low 50s. So yet again, another cool day in store for us, but drying out slightly by the time we get to Friday. Maybe a few sun breaks before an afternoon shower moves in for much of the area and that rain potential even takes us into Saturday. But the rain gauge likely filling up close to about a quarter to a half inch for the Willamette Valley. Lesser amounts actually found out along the coast. So if you want to find a dry spot, head west. Not too often that we get to say that as the dry roadways are up in elevation as we sit below the freezing mark of 31 degrees at a government camp. Snow elevation levels hovering right around 1500 feet. We'd like to see those uh, start to stay there to really kind of help progress and keep the ski season going alive and well as our base layer still sits at a healthy level tonight in the city. 40 degrees cloudy, a few hit and miss showers tomorrow. A very cool day for us. 51 degrees well below its average. Again, a spotty shower or two is a possibility and that could even take us into Monday where the 2024 solar eclipse will start to fall across the country. Only 26% of the sun will be covered by the moon here in the Portland area, but the path of totality moving over the cloud coverage as well for much of our friends out towards the south. So plans might be changing for a few folks as our seven day forecast keeps that wet weather trend all the way through Sunday. Again, the eclipse will be on the mild side if we do get a few of those sun breaks and then we'll see the return of the mid 60s by the middle of next week. So the pendulum swinging back the other direction for next week. Yeah, it's coming yeah. back. It's coming back. <laughs> What's happening in sports, Jay?